Hi, everybody. Welcome to Beginner Yoga. My name is Joanne. Thanks for joining me today. Um, I'm going to have everybody grab a little blanket or towel, maybe some cushions nearby to have handy. Um, today's practice is going to be a little bit of a restorative beginner practice. So I'm going to have us start over a roll. So I want you to find whatever you've got nearby and make yourself a roll. So it does not have to be big. And, and if you're real tight in the chest and shoulders, you'll want it smaller so that you can be comfortable lying back over the roll for a few minutes. So that's a good size for me. It might even be a little bit big. Um, and then we want the roll to be um, just at the tip of our shoulder blade, the bottom tip of the shoulder blade. So your little chicken wing there, you want the top of the roll at the bottom of the shoulder blade bone, that pointy bone. So, uh, so get yourself set up and then align yourself so you're lying over the roll. Again, check, check yourself out. So make sure it's not too low in the back and you're not on the blade. And then once you're there, just let the arms fan out to the side. And it shouldn't feel like it's going to get too tight or uncomfortable. We're just going to kind of wiggle the hips a little bit. Just settling the sacrum into the back. So we're going to have the feet bent. I'm sorry, the knees bent and the feet a mat width apart. So allow your feet to come out to the edge of the mat and then let the knees drop toward the midline. And again, make sure the roll is comfortable for you to lie here over it for a few minutes. So get yourself situated. And then once you're there, we'll just take some time to do a little inventory of the body and the mind. So checking in, noticing if there's anything that's uncomfortable, if you've got any aches and pains today, just taking note of those, being aware of them, noticing the quality of the mind this moment? Is it racing? Do you have a lot going on in your mind right now? Is it foggy? Are you tired? Maybe it feels a little dull. Possibly irritable. <laughs> Anything. Just noticing where you are and not judging it and not trying to change it. Just being aware of it. And then I'm going to invite folks as well at this point in the practice to set an intention or a dedication for your practice. So it might be that you want to challenge yourself today. It might be that you want to go easy. You might um, want to dedicate your practice to the world at large or to someone, maybe a family member who's having some struggles. You can dedicate your practice to them. And then good energy. Whatever you'd like to do for your dedication or intention. And then you want to repeat it to yourself three times to get that into your subconscious mind. And the nice thing about doing that is it gives us an anchor for the mind during practice. So if the mind begins to wander, you get restless, you always just come back to your intention or dedication and allow that to ground you in the present moment. So taking your time to do that, if that sounds good to you. Then we're going to begin to focus on the breath if you haven't already. So we'll begin to deepen the breath. So again, we bring the energy into the belly. When we first inhale, we inhale through the belly. 
We move the breath out to the sides, spreading the ribs out to the sides. And finally, up over the roll. So you want to bring the breath like a wave up over the roll into the chest and clavicles. And as you exhale, you reverse the wave back down the body. Expel stale air all the way from the lungs as you squeeze the navel gently toward the spine. That should automatically reinflate the belly. And bring the breath over the roll. So we'll take a few more breaths like that, expanding the breath over the roll, opening the chest. Make sure that your head is relaxed. I forgot to mention that. So if your chin is lifted because the roll is too big and you feel a little tight, you want to place something under your head You've got a handy blanket or something under your head so that the neck is long. You don't want the chin lifted. So make sure that the spine is nice and relaxed. Let's take a couple more breaths over the roll. Another deep breath as you inhale over the roll. And exhale through the nose completely. Very slow, you're going to heel toe the feet. Back together toward, pardon me, toward the midline. So your feet are hip distance apart now and parallel. And then you're just going to gently press into the feet as you peel your back slowly up off the floor. Reach behind you to get your roll out from underneath your back. Pull it to the side and just rest the back on the mat. And just observe how that feels in the chest and the spine, lying flat on the back. Let's rock the head gently side to side. Bring your head back to a neutral position. And then nice and slowly bring your knees into your chest. Squeeze the knees in. Just gently rock side to side on the back, stretching the spine in the opposite direction. Squeeze the knees in. Keep breathing into your belly. Good, and then we're gonna make some circles on the back. So draw circles with your knees, bring them in, up and around down and out. Keep breathing as you move. And then reverse your circles. Nice massage for the lower spine. Good. Bring your knees in, and we're going to cross the ankles. We're going to bring the hands behind the thighs, and then I'm going to have you make sure you're not looking at the screen when you begin to do this move. But if you want to watch me first, you can. I'm going to take my head neutral. And if, if this hurts your back, if you have any herniations or bulging discs in the lower spine or anywhere, this might not be appropriate for you. So 
feel free to skip it if it doesn't work. Um, if you'd like to try it, I'm going to lift my feet to give myself a little momentum. Keep the head straight. Don't look at the screen. Inhale. And begin to just rock on the spine, forward and back. So we want to make the move smooth. We don't want to be choppy. So see if you can round the spine as you rock. Obviously be gentle, don't rock onto your neck. And one more time back and up. And then we're going to come up to a seat. So <clears throat> I'm going to have everyone grab your roll or your blanket and then make yourself a little cushion. And it can be much thicker than this, especially if you have tight hips. We're going to sit up on our bolster. So you want to create some space in the front of the hips here so you're not sitting like this. If you're real tight in the hips, you might be more like this rather than here. So using whatever prop or blanket or cushion you need so that you can find some space here so the knees can lower down a bit and you can lengthen the spine. Drop your shoulders, close your eyes, take a deep breath in through the nose as you find length through your spine. And as you exhale, you're just going to drop the chin to the chest. The heavy, heavy in the front. Keeping the shoulders nice and broad, collarbone wide. Stretching the back of your neck. So nice and slowly, you're going to just begin to rock side to side with the head. So we want a nice smooth movement and smooth breath. So you can start small and then open the circle a little bit wider. Keep breathing through the nose. Opening as you inhale and exhale forward. Go a little wider. Good, and then we'll rock to the first side again. So sitting up tall, open up to the side. And nice and slowly walk your opposite arm out to the side. So now we're coming onto our fingertips. Feeling this down the whole side of the neck and arm. Make sure your posture is still nice and tall. With the head flexed to one shoulder. Relax that shoulder. And then gently exhale as you look down over your um, bottom shoulder, or the shorter side, not the extended side. Gaze down. So I'm looking over my right shoulder now. Inhale. I'm going to gaze to the sky. So you can play with this angle a little bit and change it to whatever suits you where you need to stretch. Keep breathing as you move. Exhale down, inhale up. Nice and gentle. Use the breath. Exhale down, inhale up. Good, drop the chin forward. Bring that left arm in. Inhale to the other side. So I'm on my left side now. I'm going to make sure my posture is tall. Flexing my head to the side, I'm going to walk my opposite arm out, right arm out. The left ear over shoulder, right arm is extended. Activate those fingertips. Check your posture, nice and open. And then move a little bit. So exhale as you look down over your bottom shoulder. Inhale as you gaze toward the sky. And just let your breath move you. Nice and smooth, nice and easy. Good, one more breath. And then 
slowly drop the chin to the chest, bring your hands to your legs and inhale, take your head upright. Nice and tall, drop your shoulders, inhale, as you just lift the chin to the sky. Don't wrench the back of the neck, just lift through the front of the head. And then gently, just a little rock side to side. Feeling a stretch in the front of the neck, not crunching in the back of the neck. Good, and then bring the head upright. Retract your chin towards your chest just a little bit, soften the shoulders. We're gonna relax the hands by the hips. So if you're sitting up on your bolster, hopefully you feel nice and tall. We're gonna squeeze the shoulders up by the ears and down the back. And again, breathe in and out. Squeeze up, inhale, exhale back. Reverse those circles. Squeeze the shoulders behind you, up by the ears and forward. Nice massage, squeeze up, forward and down. One more time. Good, settle the shoulders. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Gather some energy and then we're gonna exhale and fold forward, lengthen over the front, to the front and walk your arms out. Maybe your forehead comes to rest on the floor. Maybe you want to prop here. You can use your hands. Both hips are still grounded. And then breathe into this. And then whichever foot is in front, you're going to walk your hands over to that side, stretching the opposite hip. Relax the head. Breathe into your hip. Slowly come back through center. As you walk your hands back, sitting up, we're going to lean back on the hands a little bit and switch the legs. Switch the cross. Inhale as you gather some energy, breathe in. Keep the shoulders nice and soft, and then exhale as you reach forward. Keep the hips grounded, let the hands rest, and then draw the torso forward. You can again use your hands as pillows, or you can grab yourself a blanket or something to stick under your forehead, a pillow or something like that. And then make your way over toward the front toe side, other way, and relax the forehead and torso to the floor or whatever you're using as a prop. And we'll slowly come back to your center, walk your hands back. Good, and then lift the cushion out from underneath and set it aside. We're going to come onto all fours into tabletop. And again, you're going to brighten the fingers on the mat so the hands are under your shoulders and your knees are under your hips. You're also welcome to use your little cushion if you want a cushion for the knees. It's always kind of a nice thing as well, a little extra. Cushion on the knees is nice. Nice and restorative. Open the insides of the elbows toward the front part of the mat. And then make sure you're micro bending your, your elbow joints so you're not locking the joint. The knees should be under the hip points and the tops of the feet press into the floor. So we're not dumping and sagging our hips, but we're pressing the mat away from we're engaging our core muscles. The neck should be long in front of you, so look down right in front of the hands a little bit so the neck is an extension of your spine. And then we're going to inhale as we drop the belly. We're going to send the tail and the crown far and away. So I want you to think of lengthening and not wrenching. So we're lengthening. Pull the chest through the shoulders 
As you exhale, you're gonna round the spine, drop the head and the tailbone, and press up. Press the feet and the hands into the mat. Inhale as you open. Exhale as you close. And let your breath be your guide as you move, inhaling up and exhaling down. Just stretching the spine. One more round. We'll come back to our tabletop and meet in tabletop. I'm gonna take my big toes together and my knees out nice and wide like a mat with the part. So now if you wanna take your blanket, you can make yourself a little bolster if you want. We're gonna walk our hands out and you can use a bigger, maybe grab like another bigger blanket or a pillow even. So if you want a little more support and the knees are wide, you're pulling that kind of close in to your hips here. And then we're gonna walk over the bolster. So make sure you can breathe. <laughs> so getting, allowing the forehead to Rest on the bolster or the floor. And breathe into your back body. Just soften and let go of everything. Relax into the mouth. Nice. Slowly walk yourself up. Remove the bolster from the side. We're going to come back down here and we're going to thread the needle. So I want you to bring one arm under the other and come all the way down to the cheek. Breathe into your shoulder. Option is to come onto the opposite fingers and lift the elbows. You can uh, kind of twist a little bit if you want a little more. You can also wrap the arm behind reach for the inner thigh and the other leg if that's comfortable. You can just stay here. One more breath cycle on this side. Melting into that shoulder. Real important here to bring the breath all the way up to the shoulder. We're using our breath in our stretch as well. Take your hands out and switch sides. Spread the other way. And again, find the arm position that works for you. Bring the breath all the way up. Unwind yourself. Walk your hands back and walk your knees up. Come back to a tabletop position. Good, so from tabletop, we're gonna take the right toes out and press through the calf. So stretching the calf, leaning into that a little bit. Inhale forward, you're gonna massage your toe tips, pressing into the toes and exhale, stretch the calf. Good, bring that right knee down. We'll do the other side, left toes uncurl, press through the calf. As you inhale, come forward and rock under your toe tips. This is good for allergies. Sinus points and reflexology are on the, on the toes, tips of the toes. So, and then push back one more time. Good, come down to all fours. You're gonna walk your hands out in front of you a little bit further and wider. And then you're gonna bend at the elbow and you're gonna come down to awkward S pose. So you wanna keep the elbows close, use your core strength, you're gonna plant your chest right between your hands. Hips stay lifted, elbows close. And then let the legs slide out from underneath you, tops of the feet press into the floor, hands are right next to your chest. 
And then you're going to inhale for low cobra. So I want you to look on the floor in front of you. So the neck is loose, shoulders are back, elbows hug in and toward the floor behind you, feet are glued. And then breathe deeply into your belly, massaging our internal organs with the breath. You shouldn't have any strain on the low back or the neck. One more breath. Good, release the chin and chest. Press into all fours, come back onto into tabletop. And then we're gonna tuck our toes and we're gonna slowly come up to downward dog. So take your time again, inside to the elbows forward, micro bend the joint, peel the hips up and then walk your dog out, pedal your feet, no rush, just straighten the legs, just walk it out. Keep breathing. I'm gonna move these down leg over here. Walking your dog out. Good, and then I want you to take a stroll and I want you to feel the connection of your feet into the mat or the earth below you <clears throat> and be mindful how you move. So walk yourself up nice and slowly to the front of your mat. Come all the way up. Measure about two fists between your feet and bend your knees as much as you need so your hands can be on the floor. We're gonna draw the forehead to the shins here. But the knees can be very bent, that's fine. Resting the torso and the thighs. Maybe you're a little more straight here, that's fine. We're just gonna shake the head out, yes and no. Let go of any tension in the body. Nice deep breath in and out. Shake it out. So imagine all that stress in the back of the body just spilling into the earth and letting it go. Dangle your arms in front of you. Let your upper body be passive. You're going to tuck your tailbone, keep your head heavy, tuck your tailbone, and slowly roll up one vertebra at a time. Chin tucks to the chest. Shrug your shoulders at the top as you open the chest, coming into your mountain pose. So in mountain pose, we want to make sure that our shoulders are above our hips, which are above our heels. So we're nice and tall. We also want to make sure our pelvis is neutral. So kind of shift the pelvis back and tuck the pelvis under. And then again, shift back and tuck and then come to a neutral pelvis. So if it was a bowl, you wouldn't spill anything out of it. So we're nice and tall. Crown of the head stretches toward the sky as we drop the shoulders. We're gonna inhale and reach the arms back behind you to stretch the chest. Pull the arms up, keep the shoulders soft. Seal the hands at the top and exhale as you bring them to your heart. We're going to do that twice more. Reach back, inhale, reach up. Connect the palms, exhale down. One more time, inhale, reach back. Connect, exhale, lower. Lower the arms by the side. Bow the chin to the chest. Take your head upright. Inhale, stretch up tall. And then we're gonna exhale and swan dive, forward bend. So bend your knees as much as you need so you can lower all the way to the floor again. Hands next to the feet, forehead toward the shins. Inhale, we're gonna take our hands on top of our thighs and flatten our back, parallel to the mat. And then exhale as you fold. Play your hands next to your feet. Take a giant step back with the right leg. Drop your right knee and uncurl the toes. If you want, you can double up your mat to make a cushion for your knee, or you can use one of your blankets, handy blankets there. We're gonna come up and make sure that the front knee is a nice right angle so it's above the heel. And then we're gonna scissor action our legs toward the midline. Sweep the arms up if you're comfortable with that. 
Soften your shoulders, lift up. So you should be feeling a stretch here. This hip is behind, I'm sorry, this knee is behind this hip. So you're opening here, stretching that hip flexor. And then from here, breathe in, grow tall, feel that hip flexor deep in the abdomen and then tip toward the front leg. So we're opening in that psoas muscle, nice and deep. So we're folding toward the front knee side and a nice crescent lunge. Nice deep breath, inhale, come upright. Exhale, float the hands down to frame your front foot. Now we're gonna walk it back, take your hips back, draw your front toes toward your face, and we can see that, let me move my mat, move my mat out of the way. So um, you're walking these toes up, as you pull your hips back and you're lifting up. So if you need blocks or props here, you can use some books or blocks under your hands to create a little more space. Open your chest. We're breathing into this front hamstring. Pull that left hip back. Draw the toes toward the face. The knee does not have to be straight, but you should feel a nice stretch in that hamstring. Breathe in and out. Good. From here, breathe in and slowly tip that foot over toward the pinky toe side. So you're going to open the leg out a little bit. Feel that down the outside of your leg now. And breathe into that. Inhale, take that foot up, nice and perpendicular. And then rotate the foot in just a little bit. So kind of moving around in that hip joint. Good. Inhale, back through center. Breathe in, exhale, walk your hands down as you put the foot down, tuck your back toes under and lift the back knee. You're gonna lift your hips high, step your left foot back to meet your right and downward dog. From downward dog, float into a plank position. So align your shoulders over your wrists Make sure um, you're spiking some energy through the heels. My hips and shoulders are in alignment. I'm gonna drop my knees right where they are. Come back down to awkward S pose. Chest plants, use your core, bend your elbows. Slide into your cobra position, open the chest. Breathe into your belly. One more breath. Good, exhale, release down. Tuck your toes, push up through tabletop, and then maybe to downward dog. From here, you're gonna either bend the knees and step up, you can walk up, you can take another slow, mindful stroll all the way back up, or you can step up, whatever you like, fold here. Shake the head out a little bit. Tilt your tailbone and let the upper body be passive as you roll up, shin tucks. Unfurl yourself, shrug your shoulders as you open your chest at the top. Back to your mountain pose, nice neutral pelvis. Reach back, inhale, stretch up. Exhale, swan dive, forward bend. Inhale, flat back, open your chest. Exhale, fold, plant your hands. Take a giant step back with your left leg this time. Drop the back knee, uncurl the toes. Check out the right angle in the front leg. Make sure that's there using a cushion for your knee if you like. As you're ready, we'll rise up. Check out your alignment, lift through the heart, scissor the legs toward the midline. Back knee is behind the hip, so you're feeling that deep in the abdomen, hopefully. Breathe. Soften your shoulders. Keep lifting. Take a deep breath in. Exhale as you tip toward the front leg. So now you're coming the other way. So 
feeling this breathe into your belly, shoulders open, chest open, lift up. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, float the hands down to frame the foot. Lift your toes toward your face as you walk your hips back. Lift up. Using props if you need, pulling that right hip back as you stretch in the hamstring. Soft knee is okay, breathe here. Nice deep breath in. As you're ready, exhale, slowly turn the pinky side of the foot toward the floor. So we're rotating in the hip. So if the knee is bent, that's okay. You're still rotating in the hip. Nice breath here. Changing the angle of our stretch a little bit. Inhale back to center. Exhale, turn the big toe side down. So internally rotating that hip. Good, inhale back up. Nice and slowly exhale, plant the foot, walk your hands to frame the foot. Tuck your back toes, lift the knee, lift the hips high, step back to downward dog. Slowly take your, take a, move into a plank position, shoulders above wrists, exhale knees, chest and chin come down. Slide into your cobra, tops of the feet down. Neck is long, tailbone long. Breathe into your belly. Massaging those internal organs, helping us with rest and digest nervous system. Good, push up, tabletop, downward dog. And again, make your way to the front of the mat, however you like. Coming back to forward bend, fold over the legs here. As you're ready, roll yourself up, take your time. Chin tucks, shrug your shoulders at the top, open your chest. Good, inhale, stretch up. And exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, we'll come into flat back again. And exhale, bow. Plant your hands. We're going to step both feet back now. Come to a plank position. And then we'll send our hips up to downward dog. From your downward dog, take your right leg up if you can. Reach up, keep the shoulders even. We're gonna bend the knee heel toward the glute. We're just gonna pull the bent knee up between our hands and plant it on the floor for pigeon. So if you can't do three-legged dog, you can totally skip that. It's just, I find a nice transition to get into pigeon, but you, you're welcome to just come into pigeon as well. So hips should be equidistant to the floor. Now, if you want, you can use a prop, you can take a blanket, fold it up, and place it under this hip so that, um, so you've got a little more support if you need that. So you don't want to torque your sacrum by sitting on the hip. So you wanna make sure your hip bones are equidistant to the floor, and then you can use a prop underneath if you like. So come on to fingertips here, breathe into your chest, take a deep breath in. Nice and tall, and then exhale, make your way down all the way for pigeon. So you're welcome to use a prop here as well to place something under your forehead is a nice way to make this a little more restorative. So you can take a pillow or a blanket and rest here. Make sure that the spine is still nice and long, shoulder soft. And then breathe in to your stretch. Relax your jaw. Good. 
Take one more breath cycle here. Slowly on your inhale, you're gonna walk yourself back. We're gonna come up onto fingertips here and open the chest. Take a deep breath into your lungs here. Plant your hands, tuck your back toes, and make your way back, downward dog. Let's pedal the feet out here just a little bit. And then we'll take the other side. So coming from downward dog, again, three-legged dog is optional. Send the left leg up, bend the knee, keep the shoulders even, or you can just bend the knee all the way up and come down for a pigeon on this side. Again, back leg is straight behind you. Don't sickle your ankle, keep it nice and straight. Using your prop if you want for your other hip. Come onto your fingertips first. Inhale deeply into the lungs, breathe in. Exhale, make your way down for pigeon on this side. Again, resting on the forehead is nice. Soften the shoulders, soften the brow and the jaw. Bring some nice, good energy with the breath into that hip that you're stretching. And relax. One more breath. Nice and slowly. As you inhale, walk your hands back. Come onto your fingertips here. Nice deep breath into the lungs. Good. Plant your hands, tuck your back toes, and step back to downward dog. And pedal the feet again. From here, we're going to drop the knees, come into tabletop. We're going to sit back on the heels. So I'm going to turn to face you guys. Sitting on the heels. <clears throat> Keep your props handy. I might use them again. And then we're going to sit to one side. So I'm going to bring both feet to the left and sit to the right. I'm gonna cross my left foot over my right knee. I wanna make sure I'm grounding on my sitting bones as best I can, and see if you can get that top foot to the floor. So if this is difficult, take one of your blankets, your props, and sit up so you've got more space. That'll make it much easier to ground the foot. Um, if you still feel uneven, take your bottom leg out. I'm going to take this out because I don't, I don't really need it. But you can take your bottom leg out as well if you need. So whatever works for you, you're going to hug the leg in so you can find length in the spine. I'm going to take my left hand behind my back, and I'm going to show you how that's supposed to look. So you want the left hand right, the heel of the hand right at the sacrum. So you're opening, internally rotating the shoulder back, or externally rotating, I should say. Heel of the hand is right at the back, so you're using that as sort of a lever to lift you up nice and tall. Then you're gonna inhale the other arm up, breathe in. Keep that shoulder soft. And I want you to twist from the navel. So keep your lower back and sacrum grounded. And then twist from the midline, so from the navel. And then you can wrap the arm around the leg. I'll turn back to face you guys. Um, Lifting up tall, look behind you, twisting with your head, neck, and eyes as well. If you have a little more space, you want a deeper twist, you can bind the elbow outside of the leg. That's optional. In your twist, I want you to think about breathing nice and deeply into your belly. So you're really using the breath and the position to massage your internal organs. Again, stimulating our rest and digest nervous system as we relax our fight or flight nervous system. <clears throat> Take one more deep belly breath here. I 
nice soft gaze and face. Relax jaw, slowly unwind in your twist and give yourself a little counter stretch to the other side. Good, come back to center. We'll switch sides. So you're gonna take the feet to the left now. Cross the right over the left. Use the prop if you need. Check out where you are, ground that foot. If you need to extend the bottom leg out, feel free to do that. Again, hand comes all the way next to your sacrum. Using that lever, open the shoulder back. Inhale the left arm up. Soften your shoulder, twist from the navel. Turning, turning, and then find the arm position that works for you. Gaze back over your back shoulder. Find nice, deep belly breaths here. Gotta get the organs on both sides. Good, slowly release from your twist, unwind yourself and walk your hands to the other side in a little counter stretch. Coming back to center. Great, so now we're gonna take our legs out nice and wide. And again, you can sit up on a blanket if you need, so you can sit up tall. And the legs don't have to be this far open, wherever you're comfortable. If you need to sit up though, so you're tall, please feel free to use your prop. You're gonna take your right foot into the um, inside of your thigh. So squeeze that right knee in as much best you can. We're gonna aim our torso to our extended leg. Now, this is a nice thing to try as well. If you have a pillow or blanket, or prop, you can use that here, make it as big as you want. Double it up here. Use one of your couch cushions. And we're gonna aim over that leg again. Inhale, as you think about lifting up out of your hips. And then exhale, let me try it like this. Lift up and then slowly walk down, stretching over your extended leg and maybe using your props or pillow or whatever you've got handy to sort of give yourself a little support. You can make this much bigger if you want so you've got more support. Ideally, it would go all the way down so you can rest your forehead. I'm gonna try one of these couch cushions because it seems like a good idea. Okay, they're so big, <laughs> I don't know, maybe this is too big. And then, oh, you can also turn your head to the side if you don't wanna be on your forehead. This. And relax, take a couple breaths here. That's pretty good. We're gonna slowly come up. Move your props out of the way. Get them ready for the other side. Stretch that leg out. And then we'll pull the left knee in. And then set yourself up on this side. Again, flex that foot. Make sure you're lifted tall. Use a cushion underneath if you need to get more space. And then you can place your props on top of your leg. Whatever works for you. It's a little ridiculous, but it's kind of nice. Okay, and then aim over that leg. Inhale, stretch up. And slowly lift up and over your props, and then maybe turn your head to the side, or you can have your forehead down. 
whatever's better for you to breathe. <laughs> Find your breath here. Relax completely. Slowly inhale, walk yourself up, moving your props. Good, and then we're gonna take both feet in. Little bound angle pose here. And then um, walk your feet out just a little bit. And you can take maybe your blankets if you need. Ideally, your blankets are the same size. Mine are a little different. Um, if you want a little support here, you can do that. That's kind of a nice support, so it's a little easier on the groin. Lift up tall, breathe in. And exhale, you're just gonna walk forward. Relax, roll the forehead towards your feet. Find a breath. Soften with each out breath. One more breath cycle. Slowly come up. Good. Lifting the feet, lifting the knees. All right. So let's. Move some of this stuff. <laughs> Have your props handy. So I'm going to make a roll now for under my legs to rest in Savasana. So this is a nice, nice restorative thing to do as well. And then um, come all the way back onto your back, releasing down to the mat. And then if your chin is lifted, like I said, you can take a little something underneath your head so that your neck can be nice and long. It's kind of a nice, nice way to relax at the end anyway. If you don't even need it, it's kind of a nice little prop. And then let your palms face the sky. Tuck your shoulders under your chest to open the heart center. Allow the fingers to curl as they relax toward the palm. Make sure your feet are nice and wide. If there's anything else you need to round out your practice, please feel free to do that before you relax. If you're ready to relax, join me here. And we're just going to allow the breath to move through the body nice and easy, not forcing, just letting it be. Allow each out breath to sink you into the mat a little bit further. Just let go of any tension anywhere in the body as you breathe out with every out breath, just letting go a little bit more. Relax. Relax. Relax.
And just slowly begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Maybe rock your head a little side to side. Nice and slowly, make your way to the right side of your body. Bend your knees, to place your feet on the floor. Just roll to the right side to a fetal pose for a moment. Noticing any changes in body and mind and recalling any intention you may have set for your practice. Use your left hand, we'll push ourselves back to a seated pose. Coming up to easy pose, sitting on your blanket or prop if need be. Floating on the spine, sitting up nice and tall. We'll inhale and sweep the arms up, gather some energy, deep breath in. Feel your hands at the top and lower them down to your heart. Bow to yourself with gratitude for practicing yoga today. We'll bow to each other. Namaste.